So we used to think that the only reason why more women got Alzheimer's was because they lived longer, but now we know that's not the case. And we also know that, you know, the signs and symptoms and the, the breakdown of the blood brain barrier happen a lot earlier. And so that got me thinking that the, this, um, MFS D2A transporter, um, must have something to do with, um, the decline of estrogen in when of a particular age as it goes on. So that's kind of where I think we have a bear, you know, a little bit more, you know, way to go with our research, but, um, I would love to just talk with that a little bit if I could. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. I mean, since. You know, traditionally, um, since women live longer, I didn't, I wouldn't have thought that what you're saying is that the, their women on average get Alzheimer's before men, if I, if I understood correctly. Um, well, what I'm saying is that women just get it more. I mean, to give you a timeline, I'm just saying that women get it more than men. And, you know, why are they getting it more? And what is happening to, you know, cause this, you know, change. And, you know, I, you know, the more that I learn about this LBC DHA, the more I think that it might be something that is going to be really major for Alzheimer's prevention. 